said if I see okay. this one more time. <laughs> first park to go to was Magic Kingdom. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so, so even the children was complaining. Let yes. me just put that out there. Now, even though they have signs saying Magic Kingdom this way and then this that way now, Magic Kingdom is this way. Mm -hmm. We go that way. Hi. So, obviously, <laughs> somebody can't read signs. That's, that, that was my conclusion. And everybody on the bus, now see, we were, you know, just patiently waiting. Everybody saw what was going on because everybody here is going like this. Like, who's Poppy? We just gonna wait, keep driving, you know, see what's going on. So, the two little children behind us was like, this man don't know how to drive. And Magic Kingdom, that way, uh, I'm ready to get to Disney World. He going the wrong way. He don't know how to drive. If some children know what's going on. It took us, I want to say the drive from the hotel to Magic Kingdom was like, you know, like a 15, 30 minute drive yeah. anyway. But, you know, and with traffic, maybe like 45 minutes, it took us a good hour, maybe an hour, 15 minutes to get there. Then when we got there, he didn't know where to park. And there are signs that show you where buses, buses are park. supposed to like, go. What? And we like. <laughs> <laughs> he went to where, you know, like. The regular vehicles, mm -hmm. um, you know, and all of that, but yeah, I think we turned around twice trying to park the bus. So, yeah. the people at Magic Kingdom are petty. There were so many parking spots up towards where we needed to go. They parked us all the way down to the other end of the parking lot, and we were just like, really? Like all really? the way to the the other end, like meaning the beginning and the end. Yeah, not in the middle. We were all the way to the back, and then he couldn't park. I was amazed. I mean, I expected for there to be, you know, like a lot of walking because this was my first time mm -hmm. going. So I'm only used to Mississippi State Fair, you know, mm -hmm. and walking. Um. The fairgrounds, it's a lot of walking, but Disney World is something else. And people here be going to the fair with their heels on. <laughs> yeah, uh, state fair is not that big. But, you know, know, we say that to say that we expect it, you know, to be walking a lot. But from where they parked us to where you had to give your tickets. That was like, I, that, I was that, that was crazy. That was crazy. Like and it was, walk. yeah, <laughs> and there, you know, were so many parks. Like Craig said, there were so many parks, but pettiness. But it's okay. Yeah. Still love you, Disney. Yeah. And your workers. <laughs> they are amazing. So, once we got in, Everybody's taking their pictures, of course. After we took our pictures, everyone went their separate separate ways. And it was Ness, my brother, and myself, of course. And we were in a group together, just walking around, yeah. trying to see what we wanted to get on. I wanted to get back on the Haunted Mansion because it had been maybe 12 years since I got on. Yeah, about 12 years. So I was excited to get back on that and of course it was Ness's first time so we wanted yeah. to get on that too. And of it course it's it's not scary. Even though it says the haunted mansion, it's still Disney, so Exactly. You know. But anyway, we went to one end of the park, but it was like towards another end, but somehow we stumbled across it. And as we were about to get in line I see my troop leader and her crew 
And they're like, are y'all about to get in line for that? We was like, yeah. She was like, come with us. We got fast passes. We were like, oh. Had no idea. We had fast passes. So, it was for maybe 11 o'clock. Yeah. I think it was around 10, 20, 10, 30 or somewhere in there. We got in line. The line went to moving. And even though it wasn't 11 o'clock, we were still able to get on when we yeah. got up there. Yeah. So, that was so cool. It was real cool. Not having to wait. <laughs> yeah, because that waiting line was like, it was looped. Yeah, it was It was a very long line. And you know, just walking past and seeing everybody else. I'm like, I'm sorry. Yeah, but yeah. But anyway, we get in there and we all had to partner with younger children because of course if they're a certain age or a certain height, you know, they have to have an adult with them. So I had a little girl, she was about five or six. Who I think I was with Chris. Okay, yeah, she got on with my brother mm -hmm. and everything. And so the little girl I had at first she was excited but then as we got inside you have to go in this room like the lights are very dim inside and so you have to go in this room and she's oh. in there like i don't want to do it i don't want to do it but of course once you're in i mean you can get off once you go into the next room but i wasn't about to get off i'm sorry as y'all get to learn more about me, I love amusement parks. I love thrill rides. I would get on pretty much anything. Except so, free falling. Except that. But um, if you're my partner, you're going to have to yeah, that's tough it. it out. I'm sorry. Yeah, At that point, she just had to tough it out. I told her, you know, you can sit beside me. I'll keep your eyes covered or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you're going to get on this ride. Oh my gosh, we get in there and we're sitting down and like I said, I had her eyes covered the whole time and she's still like, I want to get off, I want to get off. <laughs> and then, but after a while, she was cool. Did you like that ride? I did. It was funny. It was really funny. It was cool how, you know, it's so much money that goes into these amusement parks and... The way they had it set up in there, it was freaking awesome. They had yeah. the, um, when the, what is it, when the dead, um, socialized or something oh, like that. Yeah. They had that, you know, yeah. the whole little graveyard. It was, it was cool. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think after we got off that ride, I think that's when we headed to Splash Mountain. Yeah. And we were in that line, y'all, for an eternity. Yeah. I, I cannot stress enough how long we were in that line and it's sad because they had fans out there going and I, it was it was crazy it was crazy but um so we found out that we had fast passes to Space Mountain and so after standing in the line for Splash Mountain for what seemed like a year um, we had to race against time <laughs> to get to Space Mountain yeah. because I think we had what like maybe was it 15 20 15, minutes 15 20 minutes and we had yeah. to race luckily it was like right it was like a straight shot you know yeah. from Splash Mountain to Space Mountain of course it was you know a great deal of walking but we made it in time mm -hmm. now Space Mountain it it was fun. Don't get me wrong. I get on it again, oh but I did not realize you were in the pitch black dark on the yeah. ride, and you don't know when you gonna fall and see she like rides. But I don't do all that scary stuff. And they drop you all of a sudden. That ain't my cup of tea. <laughs> so as we walking through, you know, the voice in the in the place that's telling you, you know, what to expect when you get on the ride and that you're going to be in the pitch black dark. And I'm just like, okay, okay, I didn't got so far away from the entrance. Do I turn around or do I keep going? So I decided to keep going because I didn't want to look like no wimp. <laughs> so, y'all, when I got on that ride, mm-mm. 
I cannot lie, I was nervous. I was, you know, my anxiety <laughs> level, my anxiety level was going up just talking about it. It was fun, but it was, it was unexpected. Being in the dark like that, you know, and for anybody that's, you know, afraid of the dark, I would not suggest it. Right. You know, if you got any other issues going on, you know, where you don't like being in tight spaces or something like that, or you feel like you in the dark and you don't know what's coming to get, don't get on it. Because you in yeah. the pitch black dark, literally, you don't know what's in front of you, you don't know what's behind you, so. But it was fun, so. <laughs> I think after that, did we eat? Yeah, you know, I think we went to um, that other place because we were in, I think Space Mountain is in Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. So we went to the cafe and then we had lunch and I think. So we got on the, we got on the Winnie the Pooh ride, but um, I think before we got on that ride, we were standing near the teacup ride and we had i think we had just gotten off of that ride so we were like standing outside of the ride and we were talking and i was just you know like in the middle of the conversation and i spot tigger and i'm like as she said she was standing in the middle of a conversation mm -hmm. when she spotted tigger this is what she did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what came over me, y'all, but I did knock them out the way. I don't even know how their expressions were. I ain't look back to find out, but I was just trying to get the Tigger. And then I saw Pooh Bear, and it was on. Like, I was determined to get to them <laughs> and get a picture and so I look back nobody is as excited as I am so I'm like it was one other girl that was excited because she took off right too oh yeah um, yeah yeah mm -hmm. it was one other girl that did you know like take off running with me um she wanted to meet them as bad as I did but it, we had so much trouble getting to them because it was like once we made it up there, they decided that it wasn't worth the wait. So I was upset. Um, and Chris, he decided that he was going to come with me to, you know, get a picture with them. So we get up in the line and I'm just waiting, just waiting, just waiting. They go on a 15 minute break. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave. But as soon as I got ready to leave, they came back. So the line is moving and moving and moving. They take another 15 minute break. So I was just like, you know what? I'm this close, but I'm about to turn around because I look back and everybody that was waiting on us had left. And so we're calling her, she's not answering the phone. So I was just like, you know what? Did Let's I just go. One? I think you did. I, I think it. you did have it because we ended up you know what it was in the baby stroller yeah so hmm it was it was an adventure i'll just say that but so we did um i did get a picture of them not with them i'm still upset about that but it's okay you know i got a chance to see them up close and personal and so we left we went to find Cray and the other group that was with us. And I think that's when we met up at the Dumbo ride. Because y'all had got on. It was like we kept having to go in circles to find y'all. Because we walked around for a minute before okay. we had actually got on the phone with you. And you said that y'all were over by, um, I want to say it was called Storybook. Oh, and we okay. went over there. Okay, well, that we were getting ready to get on. Um, and I apologize if I pronounce it wrong. I can never get it right. Um, feel our magic or something like that. And it's basically a 3D type performance. We could it, not it was, find them. We could not find them for nothing. And yeah. 
the crazy part about it was, you know, we made sure that we dressed, you know, similar, had on similar colors. Well, they had on, you know, their Girl Scout shirts and I don't know what I had on, but it was noticeable because I was ripping Jackson State while I was there. Yeah. And so, um, we just could not find them. And we ended up having to just sit down and wait. And I know we circled that carousel probably like two a good two times. And then we just decided, you know what, we just gonna wait, see where they are, and we gonna, you know, like get up and find them. But it turns out they were headed to where we were, which was by the Dumbo ride. Yeah. And that's how we ended up meeting up. We got on that. Um it, I mean it was cool. You know, it, it has it, small it's, children. I would say it's so. enjoy, enjoyable for yeah the children. Right. Okay, so after, you know, after the Dumbo ride, we went, we met Mickey, um, we watched the parade, which was freaking awesome. And then we just, you know, like kind of hung around because yeah. anyone that goes to Disney know, you know, at a certain hour, they have the fireworks show, which is like the best part. So we went and got some ice cream and... Then we stayed and watched the show, which, like I said, it was it was amazing. <laughs> so this girl, okay, y'all. So now we are back to this bus ride, and like we said in the beginning of this video, it was an adventure while we were in Orlando. So coming, we're thinking, you know, once you drive to Disney, you went through all of that. You would remember, you know, how to get back to the hotel, especially if I think he left and came back, or did he wait? Um, I think, I think he, he left. Yeah, I think he left and came back. And came yeah. back. So, how do you not know your way back? But, anyway. So, some people wanted to stop by the grocery store. Yeah. And I think in looking for the grocery store, we got lost on the way back to the hotel. And we went back and forth. I think we turned around a good four times. And it was so irritating because everybody is annoyed at this point. Everybody's fussing. He's probably agitated because he's hearing everything that everybody got to say. And this girl is next to me going off because she keeps seeing. <laughs> we kept we kept passing an outlet mall. And this girl kept seeing this sign, and she was like, if I see this sign one more time. <laughs> and she kept talking about how she was going to get off the bus, and she was going to walk back to the hotel. And I'm just looking at her like, here's your crazy. But listen, though, listen, y'all, the outlet is like on this side of the bridge. Our hotel was literally on the other side of the bridge. All you had to do was get off. That's it. Turn. Turn. That is it. There. That is it. Like literally five minutes, you know, driving distance five minutes away from the mall is where our hotel was. But no, he wants to keep turning around and turning around and turning around. By the time we made it back to the hotel, everybody had had a rough day. It was time to wind down, you know? So people was talking about, I need a drink after this. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, y'all. And that's just Thursday. Right. So we have, no, I'm sorry, we have more, three, more, three days more days to cover. To cover. 